Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. You know all my struggles. You know what? I'm one of the greatest pitchers in baseball history, Fergie Jenkins. So, Fergie, just, you know, you're a part of Rangers history. And now you're a part of Rangers history winning a World Series. Can you explain, as a former player, being an ambassador around here for this team, just how special this is? Well, it's outstanding. They hadn't won in well over 50 years. I came here in 74, and they were a last place ball club. I think they lost about 105 ball games. And we, Bibby and I, uh, I went 25, Bibby won 19. We kind of turned it around. Jackie Brown was here, along with a lot of other players. But, but I think the nice thing about it is they knew that this organization would turn it around. And this was a, a thriving city that really grew. So Arlington is, I mean, it's a great city, and it's a great city to play baseball. So I gotta ask you, man, you, you know, being from Canada, obviously hockey reigns supreme. I, I, uh, Birdie in the room told me that you're a hockey player as well. How, how were you able to transition into doing hockey to being a, a pitcher, not just any pitcher, a great pitcher? Well, I, I started by playing hockey when I was like nine years old. My dad yeah. got me skates and started playing. I played high as junior B. And the scout that came to my hometown kind of changed my mind about what sport are you going to play? You're going to play hockey, basketball, or baseball. And he said, you got to make a decision. And he said, Gene DeGiro, to this day, I'm pretty sure you're a better ball player. <laughs> and I was a defenseman, and I could move the puck. I didn't score a lot of goals, but I could skate well, could skate backwards. I enjoyed the game of hockey, but when I look back, I think uh, I made the right decision. Well, indeed you did, so I got to ask you, man, you being one of the all-time pitchers, if you did a Mount Rushmore of four pitchers, who would be the four pitchers that you put on your Mount Rushmore? Uh, Juan Marichal, okay. Koufax, Gibson, and Seaver. Oh my God. Ooh. And oh. then I'd be fifth. <laughs> that would not be, hey, be a long relief. Yeah. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay. okay, so I got to ask you just a few more questions real quick. You know, you face a lot of great hitters in your day. If you had to do a top three of the hitters that you face in your lifetime, who are the three that come to mind for you? Well, number one is Clemente, Roberto, Pete Rose, Ooh. and uh, probably uh, Rod Carew. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, perfect. Hitting machines. These guys are hitting machines. Man, Especially you, Pete Rose. He's saying like every Hall of Famer possible or just in general like that. That's that's amazing. So last question. This is a fun question. You know, let's say we bring Fergie Jenkins, we rewind the time clock. Fergie Jenkins is a 22 year old starter in today's baseball. You know how baseball embraces the players now. They let you come up with walk up music, the lights, the theatrics. If Fergie Jenkins can have a song named after him and he can pick any artist that allowed to do his walk up song to the mound, who is doing Fergie Jenkins' song? Well, it'd probably be Canadian Sunset. I'm not okay. sure of the band that does it, but uh, I could walk up to that pretty, pretty easy. Plus, I love to hit, so going to the plate would be a interesting. Walking up to Canadian Sunset. I love it. Well, Fergie, man, this has been a lifetime honor and achievement for me. Um, thank you for what you've done for baseball. Pleasure. Thank uh, you. Thank you, sir. And you have a wonderful now. Had a lot of fun. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye. Yeah, yeah.